Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the Motu booth here at NAMM 2014. My name is Dave, and I'm going to be giving you a, a quick run-through of our digital performer software. And uh, we're going to start at the beginning here. All right. A year and a half ago, digital performer shipped for Windows. So I'm sure that we got a lot of people here that have been using digital performer on Macintosh for a long, long time. But if you're a Windows user, this means this, that you've seen the program for the first time or you're getting into it for the first time. So we've got a lot of new users. Right? And so somebody comes in and looks at the program and says, where do I get started? So a big uh, program that Motu has been involved in is developing training materials, making Digital Performer as accessible, as quick and easy to learn for new users as possible. But I think also experienced users are, are going to get something out of, out of these features as well. What we're looking at here is the DP welcome window. And when you launch Digital Performer, this is the first thing that you see. If you don't want to see it, you can turn it off. That's an adjustable preference. But what this welcome window does is it gives you a lot of information. For example, if I've got templates, I can choose my templates from here, make a new empty file. Here's my recent files, but also documentation. OK, uh, I'm a, an experienced user, but I've just picked up the latest upgrade. What's new in DP8? Open up the, uh, the PDF right there. Or maybe this is the first time I've used the program, and I need some help getting set up, getting started. So the Getting Started Guide, get it right from that first window. Or how about the, uh, the full user guide? The full manual is now online. So all that documentation is right at your fingertips as soon as you're into the program. Now, if your computer's online, then you can click on Video Tutorials. And what's going to happen is it's going to take you over. It'll take you to the Motu website, and we now have all these video tutorials, short videos, three or four minutes, that are specialized on different functions of the software. Uh, we get into different plugins. What does this precision delay do? Well, let's watch the movie, and it'll show you exactly how the plugin works, how to use it. How do I work with the pitch correction in Digital Performer? So these movies are excellent resources for really getting into how the program works. This is all free tutorial from Motu. We'll give you the movies. We'll give you the documentation. Uh, free tech support as well, of course. Um, but what if you're still looking for even more training material? There's a number of companies that are doing that. They're making various uh, training materials. Some people like to learn by reading. Some people like to learn by watching a movie. Some people like to learn by just diving in and pressing buttons. But Groove 3, they're a company that does uh, training videos. Mac Pro Video. They're doing training videos for Digital Performer. Tutorial Depot. And these are all different styles of learning. Go up and check out these, these uh, different companies. They've all got demonstration versions of their, of their movies. You can see if that suits you, if that works well for you. Or maybe if you'd like to do some reading, we've got some books out. Hal Leonard is publishing. The Power in Digital Performer came out last year. And this is a book for beginners. And uh, I've just published my second book. I wrote this book. And this is uh, the second book from Hal Leonard, Digital Performer for Engineers and Producers. And this is an advanced guide. This gets you into using Digital Performer live on stage. It talks about the mechanics of film scoring. It talks about audio production, surround sound mixing. So you've got a lot of training materials available to you. We're going to take it one step further. Let's get back into uh, DP now. And I'm going to open up a file called The Guided Lesson. So what you're looking at here is a, a completed digital performer project. It's got audio tracks, MIDI tracks. And we'll continue to develop these lessons. There'll be all different things that we can learn about. This first lesson that we're going to start off with is really the basics. OK, I've never used digital performer before. How do I get started? All right, well, here's what a finished project looks like. We've got this window over here called the guide window. And it basically works with uh, HTML. If I click on something, I say, OK, how do I play a song? It takes me to this page, and it says, OK, if you want to play, you click the play button. Where's the play button? Ah, this is nice and interactive. OK, I know how to make it play. How do I make it stop? Come over here and uh, click, OK, there's the stop button. And I'm reading in the manual, and it's talking about the control panel. What do they mean by the control panel? Well, if I click on that, it highlights it. So this is an interactive function. So now you can play with the file. You've got instruction. It's pointing you to the various areas. Uh, let's see, what's, what might the, the next lesson be? Customizing the workspace. Let's open up the preferences. How do I find the preferences? It'll open it up for me. So what we're doing here is we're making this software as easy and accessible for the new user. And again, I think experienced users, there's always a few more details that you can learn how to use. So uh, that's our emphasis on training and getting, uh, getting new customers in for a digital performer.